Hi guys, welcome to my DIY today. Today I'm going to be making a sort of, I guess, I won't say can candelabra, but I'm going to make these very prominent, some type of statement vases. And uh, what I had planned to do, let me show you a little bit closer. I just did a haul on these. I think I got these from Marshalls. It was either TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but one of the two. Oh, here it is on the back, Marshalls. Yeah, I got this from Marshalls. And uh, this is vase filler, but some of the stuff will go in there, but like this big one here is not going to go in there, and I don't want to leave it out. So what I think I'm going to do is just, and I had something in my hand last week. I could just kick myself now. I was thrifting, and there was this big prominent glass vase that stood up. And I just put it down. I was like, oh, I don't know what I mean. And I just put it down. And I could have bought it and filled it with this. So, therefore, I'm not going to fill it with this today because that was my plan to put it in each, uh, each, in each one. But I didn't realize that these were a little more slimmer cylinders than, you know, than wide than, than what I thought it was. So, I'm going to keep it pushing and I'm going to figure out later on what I want to put in those. I don't know. I may order some um, some faux diamond rocks that look like, but they're shaped like diamonds, and put them uh, in um, there, you know, to, for base fill, uh, base fillers. So that's an idea. In fact, I may go and look on eBay because I'm going to order some stuff from eBay, y'all. I'm going to order these freaking uh, charges for this table. I'm not going to even tell you what kind of charges they are. I'm just going when I when they get here and I put them on the table. I'm going to show you, but I have I still have a ways to go to change everything around here. Like this tablecloth on the here is safari like. I actually got that um, material thrifting, and you could probably see it over there in the corner on those chairs. I covered my dining room chairs with that but I end up buying some other red chairs but those are just chairs off to the side over there in case you know you have company you know, don't have enough seating those are just extra chairs Paula now I think we got a chair fetish there's a lot of chairs in this house in this apartment but anyway um back to this so sorry I'm not gonna be using this I'm gonna zag because I was gonna throw it in there and uh actually see I need something let me pin up here you see like that big tall boss right there oh my god that would be excellent in front of it but I got it over there you never know I'm not gonna take those white rocks out that's for sure but um yeah anywho my plan has been foiled so I'm gonna keep moving I'm just still gonna make my DIY with you today okay let's just put that to the side and let me show you real quick what I actually had on here and I have three of these in different sizes because you know everything over here is zero and I'm gonna eventually and I'm slowly you know because things cost so I'm gonna try to thrift everything as much as possible but some of the stuff I cannot thrift I have to purchase online but um I bought these three years about seven years ago and I actually bought them for Ross. Look, the price is still on it. These things are about seven or eight years old. And uh, I'm just going to give them to my daughter. I was going to donate them, but I was like, hey, she's, you know, 24 now. And she has her own apartment now. She lives out of town. But I'm going to ship these to her and uh, let her see what she can do with them, honey. And I'm just going to redecorate. As you can see, I'm working with a glass table here. I think I'm... Um, I'm going to keep the table. I don't have any plans so far to change this table. But let's get right into this. These two little, let me pull up so you guys can see again, sorry. These two are from the Dollar Tree. Yes, only paid a dollar for those. And these, let me bring it a little bit closer. I probably could have zoomed in, but I'm going to hold it. This thing, you see this, you could kill somebody with this. This looks and feels expensive to me i think some rich lady here in atlanta went donated these honey but this, baby this is heavy and uh it has some prominence to it and i like it and look you see how it's shining all i did was windex with vinegar windex with vinegar and bam 
you know, I wanted to make sure there were no residue, no dust, uh, or anything like that sitting on it when I applied the glue. But uh, for the two of these, I thrifted, I think I only paid $7 for these. And you can see where the little candle goes in there. So um, when I first bought them, I actually bought some tapered candles to put in there. And it wouldn't stay. I was like, it kept laying. I'm like, no, I don't like that. So I would always just let them sit there. And I said, well, when I find the right type of vials or something that I want to sit on top of that, I'm just going to put that on there. So without further ado, let's get started because it's really not going to take me that long. I'm just going to go ahead and apply the glue on here with you guys because, you know, this has to set. In order for it to really cure, it has to sit overnight. So, therefore, I'm just going to show you um, what I'm doing with it and uh, we'll just go from there. Whoa, let's see. Let's start right there. And it doesn't take a whole lot of glue. Of course, I'm not going to put me in that hole, but I'm just going to smear it here all around like that. And just a little bit on the edge here because I don't want it to be rolling down the side. Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that in the middle. Oh well, we're going to keep it moving. You know, you only got a few seconds before it starts to stick. Alright. Okay, let's see if I'm going to try the second one. And then I'll pan up for you guys. Let me just go ahead and get this on. side over there. I feel like I did, but just around the edge of this, just in case there's a little spot somewhere where I didn't put enough glue. But it doesn't take a whole lot. I'm just filling around to make sure the look is all nice. Cap my glue real quick and I'll pan up for you. Just gonna slide that over like that. In fact, let me just move it back a bit and then I'll pan up. Look at that. That looks awesome already. It looks expensive. It's not. And uh, if you've never been out thrift thrifting and you thought, oh, maybe I don't want to go. I don't want to go in the thrift store. Honey, let me tell you. You can find some nice things in the thrift store. Some expensive things. Name brand. No name brand. Whatever is there. And uh, Especially if you live, I found out if you really, if you live in a really nice neighborhoods, they actually have them out here as well. And, or there's, uh, if I live, I used to live out, um, in Buckhead uh, a couple of years ago, but, um, I'm further out now. But, yeah, they even have the thrift stores over in Buckhead, huh? Yes, there's two. I haven't been to them in a, actually it's three. I haven't been to them in a while. But I need to go check them out because, you know, I've gotten some really nice things over the years from them. But, yeah, hopefully you guys like this dollar, uh, this actually Dollar Tree and Thrifted DIY. Thanks for watching, guys. I will keep you abreast and I will come back at a later date to show you the table. Okay, bye.